Kingdomites Junk! Alright guys, what's going on? It's Cynical. Welcome back to another video. In today's one, we're going to be doing another Kingdom Hearts unboxing. I love doing these, mainly because I just can't get enough of collecting this Disney RPG merchandise. Today's video is kind of a special one because I am partnering up with a Japanese pop culture merchandise website known as Mecha Japan. They sell all kinds of different collectibles for Japanese pop culture like Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy, Pokemon, Dragon Ball any anime you can pretty much think of. Basically, a lot of stuff that you cannot get anywhere else other than Japan, these guys have you covered. They have kindly sent me a few items within this box. It's all Kingdom Hearts goodness. I have actually purchased a few items on my own behalf. The total value of what's in this box is about 500 USD. There are 10 items total. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts merch isn't cheap. It's even worse too when you think 500 USD is like the equivalent of 700 odd New Zealand dollars too, so like, yikes. However, if it means I get more Kingdom Hearts plushes or Kingdom Hearts plastic, I'm a happy boy. Mitcha have kindly provided me with a small discount code that you guys can use, JOINT5, when checking out on their website. Ouch. So let's start off with the plushes. We have four plushes, technically five. The first one right here is Chip and Dale. Yahoo! I didn't even know they had a Kingdom Hearts version of Chip and Dale. Super cute. Look at the boys. Look at the boys. I will free you from your plastic prison. They are stringed together like a couple of conjoint twins. And I will not be separating the boys, but look at them. They look absolutely fantastic. Uh, a lot of the Kingdom Hearts official merch is fantastic when it comes to, like, quality. All of the materials used, all the finer details, like the little, uh, kind of cog Mickey symbol right there on their aprons. They look fantastic. The boys! Next up we have Roxas. No, I'm just kidding, it's actually Ventus. There is our very cute, very small boy. Square Enix just do a fantastic job to ensure all details there, even with the little mark of mastery symbol. This style of plush is quite common with a lot of Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy merch, the more so like kind of chibi style. He is a small boy and he will be sleeping like he usually f***ing does somewhere on my shelf. What the quack? I am currently strangling a mummified duck. So I had no idea that there were plush versions of the Halloween Town uh, variants of Sora, Donald, and Goofy, but there indeed are. I decided to grab the uh, Halloween Town version of Donald right here. I think it looks fantastic. Generally for Donald's middle portion right here, his actual character model doesn't have like literally anything. He's, he's just kind of like floating. There's nothing there. So we filled that in with black. It actually looks kind of cool. He's also got the cloth strap over his beak to hopefully shut him up a little bit to ensure that he's not screaming about ingredients all the time. This might be a good spot to find some ingredients. <laughs> he is super cool. He's actually the cheaper Halloween Town plush out of the three. I believe Goofy is the most expensive, but I think he just looks a badass. Uh -huh. Your Majesty. Uh. Okay, so this is... Insane. So along with Chippendale and Ventus back there, this Mickey was uh, sent to me by Mecha. This is one of the coolest plush figures I think I have ever seen. T-Posing Mickey. This is a posable Mickey plush figure. This is quite possibly the highest quality uh, Mickey plush I think I have ever seen. You'll also notice right here, his coat, you can zip um, up and down. The cords at the top of the organization coat are actual like little metal tassels as well as the zip being metal as well. This is kind of insane, look. Fully posable uh, plastic bits for his shoes. And the hood as well, I'm pretty sure we can put this on. There we go, drug dealer Mickey. This is definitely a lot cooler than my other organization Mickey plush that I have right here. This is a little bit lower quality. It is still official Kingdom Hearts merch. But you'll notice that like all of the different details like the zip, the zipper, uh, the cord. This is just all like printed fabric that's been kind of glued or attached on. This Mickey is actually from an Ichibankuji, a Japanese lottery type system. 
um, and is made by Bandai, so not by Disney or Square themselves. Wait a minute, because I can unzip the coat, let's just see what's underneath here. Nothing <laughs> sussy or anything, all right? I just, you know, want to see if, I don't know, the Organization 13 wore anything underneath their coat. Maybe that is kind of sussy. Um, I can confirm to you that Mickey does, in fact, have pants on. You'll see right here, he's got pants on, so that must be a canon thing. Uh, Mickey does, in fact, wear black trousers underneath his organization coat. What is officially the first official deck of Kingdom Hearts playing cards. And these are very unique for one reason, and that's that they resemble the cards from Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. These are quite a recent item, I believe they came out last year. Ha ha ha. Aw, sh**. But as you guys can see, we've literally got all of the different types of cards that you would get, even like the enemy cards, item cards, world cards, summon cards, magic cards, keyblade cards, from Chain of Memories. And these can be used like normal playing cards, you've got the number, you've got the suit. I think this is honestly one of the coolest pieces of Kingdom Hearts merch, just because it literally makes so much sense. And the fact that they nailed the shape, they nailed the back design. Look at the King card, it is a key to beginnings card. That is absolutely awesome. One thing you should know about these, though, is they're not actually a card material. They're plastic. So that would mean the durability is a little bit better for actually wanting to use them. But I'm, I'm still not going to do that because I'm a nerd and I like to keep my shit nice and safe. Shiny. So this was an item that Cass recommended me to get. It is a Kingdom Hearts scratch book. If you don't know what scratch art is, it's basically just this like black bit of card that you scratch away at and it will eventually reveal a picture. These are the different uh, scratch arts that are available in this pack. Again, this is an official piece of Kingdom Hearts merchandise and I just thought it looked really cool. So it's something that me and my girlfriend can do in our spare time. Oh, how sweet. Oh, your majesty. So today I have officially broken my Nindroid virginity. Yeah, I actually don't own a Nindroid at all, mainly because these are very expensive. And if you kind of sit on them for a while and then eventually decide to buy one, uh, the prices of these are insane. This one right here was about $180. Looking at the Riku one, that's in the sort of $200 range, and then looking at the Sora one, that's like about $400. Nindroids go crazy when it comes to the price. There's kind of a good reason for that. These are incredibly high quality, more so than something like a Funko Pop. You've also got like different bits and pieces that you can uh, sort of assemble on to the Nindroid as well, different like heads, and they're fully posable which is cool. Decided to get the King Mickey one for one. It is the cheaper one, but it's also Kingdom Hearts 2 King Mickey, which is the best version of Mickey. Am I opening it? Hell no, what do you take me for, a fool? So right here we've got a Keyblade. Very small Keyblade though. It's more of a Key Dagger. Oh, it's cute. Damn, attachable keychain. Nice! This is also another newish piece of merchandise. The cool thing about this though is it is actually a light. There's a little button uh, just in the hilt. You slot the batteries in the bum of the keyblade just like that. Bada bing bada boom. Hey, can I see some ID? You haven't been smoking that devil's lettuce, have you? What's that small bag down there, huh? Don't get lippy with me, punk. My name is Sergeant Keybird. I'm a big fan of keys. Hence the, uh, the key flashlight. As you guys can see, the light is in the shape of a keyhole, because of course it is. There's also another size that this keyblade comes in. It's like a proper life-size version, I believe. Does the same thing. It's also a light. Oh, but they also do King Mickey's. Keyblade! And there we go, Kingdom Key D Small Edition. So for the final item, and perhaps the most valuable, though the Nindroid is honestly pretty close, is Paper Square. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it is... Ah! What could this be? So this is a very special 20th anniversary item. Obviously came out back in 2022. Uh, this is the 20th anniversary vinyl LP box. It contains three vinyls containing various music from Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3. It even includes the music track from the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer. Now, I'm not really too big on vinyls. I don't even have a record player, so I think now I need to change that. The only other vinyl that I own is Yutari Kairu's Face My Fears with the gorgeous Tetsu 
Tsunamura artwork. Absolutely sexy. But I just thought because the music of Kingdom Hearts is such a special part of the series, this would be a really cool collector's item to have. Oh, it's so nice and glossy. Look at that. Oh, take that off. Oh my God. Okay, so first up is Kingdom Hearts 1. Look at that, dude. Here are the tracks that are included. The actual vinyl itself, you can see the Roman numeral 1. Kingdom Hearts 2 with the lovely cover art. Here are the tracks. Same thing again, Roman numeral 2. And Kingdom Hearts 3. And here are the tracks. Reality in the Dark is the Kingdom Hearts 4 song. The other cool thing about this, though, is it comes with the 20th anniversary art, the most recent major Tetsuya Nomura piece, even showing us Kingdom Hearts 4 Sora right there. Uh, it also comes with a stand so that you can display it. And on the lid of the box, we even have a message from Yoko Shimomura. So that's my little Kingdom Hearts haul. Big shout out to Mecha for uh, partnering up with me for this video. I'll leave all of the links that you need for Mecha in the description down below. They're a great resource to use if you are wanting to get some of that exclusive Japanese only merchandise. If you guys want to see me unbox more Kingdom Hearts stuff, uh, I'll leave the link to the mail time playlist in the description down below. We've done a lot of this over the course of time and I love doing it. I love Kingdom Hearts junk. However, well, guys, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with everything that's going on here. Check out my other social media platforms, and a big thank you to my Turkey-tastic patrons. I'm Cynical. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day, and we'll talk real soon.